Hey folks, so today we're going to talk about uh, list and and tuples in Python. So, what is list and what is tuple in Python? Lists are basically uh, a place where you store data. So, I could store either numbers or I could store strings. So here, I'm storing string. I could also have numbers here. So, I'm going to add a number here just for your reference. And when I type it, you can see that the number is coming there. I could have more numbers. I could have more numbers if you want. Okay, so you print the name and the name comes in in the console. Watch in the console here. Okay, now uh, why do we need a list? A list is basically needed when you want to store the data and retrieve the data. So say for example, I want to get the first first name of uh, our first name in the list. So I simply reference the index of that list and type it here sorry index of that list and type it here so the index should come the list is always represented in complete brackets okay and this is important so because there are three three things in python which you need to know one is a list one is a tuple and one is a dictionary okay so lists are always represented in close brackets like these dictionary uh, tuples are always represented in braces like this and dictionary is always represented like this this is the only difference between these three in terms of inputting uh, but of course there's a difference basic difference between all three of it but all three of them are basically used to uh, retrieve uh, to store and retrieve data okay so we'll go back to our point here and run this code and as you can see uh, in my code I've been able to get the first character so in programming the first character is generally represented as 0 because that's is called the index value so this is 0 and this is 1 and this is 2 and so it works like that so it's it may be a little counterintuitive for somebody who's coming out, uh, out from the regular world where, where this first name Donald would be number 1 um, yeah, there are some programming languages like Julia and a couple of new programming languages which have started indexing one as one. Um, but most of the older programs had uh, their referencing uh, of index as zero. So that's that's why we get it as uh, zero here. And if I if I say one here, then I'd get the second value, which is Obama. So that's about names uh, in um, list. So let's now try to manipulate uh, this a little bit. So let's say I want to add a name uh, via my program. Uh, so uh, add something to my name. So what I do is I say name dot append. And append is a function. And that's why whenever you see something like this with a function here, you should assume that that's a function. So let's say I want to add a new name here. And whenever uh, I say append, it will add that new character in, in the end. Uh, so let's say I say, mm, let's think about something. Okay, let's say Z ping. Okay, and now if I, and I want to just remove this number one numerics. I just I'm going to remove this because I don't want to confuse the hell out of you. So now I say print uh, name and it should now give me zipping included in that. Okay, so I'm going to run it and as you can see that new name includes zipping in it. All right. So that's how the naming convention works here. And I can also remove a name. So if I need to remove uh, a name from the list, what do I need to do is um, I go here and uh, I, I use the function called pop. And these are important functions I'm talking about. There are a lot of functions where you can remove a name, you can append a name, you know, you can sort the name, so on and so forth. But I'm just talking about a few really important ones here. So what I'm going to do is name dot pop. And I can choose any value here. So if I want to remove the first character, let's say Donald, and then I want to print the name, I can that do that too. So let's do that and run. 
so as you would see in my program when I ran the program the first name was removed okay uh, and the first name has now become Obama <clears throat> now just for the sake of clear understanding I'm gonna remove this make it simpler so as you can see when we printed the name initially we had Donald in it okay and then we added Z ping into it and then we removed the first name which was Donald so we now have the new list which basically does not have Donald in it but only has Obama in it so that's how you manipulate with your uh, list and you can also find out the length of the list so if I want to find out the length I simply say length length is a function and you say name <coughs> so if I do this I should get it technically but because this is not my console I have to print it via the print function so if I run this now if I sorry this is a function and it says that there are seven characters in it okay so you can find out the length as well here and you can also loop through the uh, list so if you use a for loop here so if I'm gonna say for x uh, or whatever for name in name if I say name in name it will be confusing so let's say x in name print hello there and then I can add x here <coughs> So if I do that, you see I'm able to get the list and I'm also able to add the name to it. Now let's, because we have used the fstring function earlier, let's use fstring because it's so counterintuitive. So it's so intuitive when you try to do that. So if I do f here, I can easily say, hi there, everybody, this is, and here I can easily simply type my x value here so it will do the same thing but it's so much more intuitive when you use the f string function here so that was about list list allows you to go through uh, allows you to put some data in it it allows you to go through the data it allows you to pop in some data from it it allows you to add some data in the form of append into the list so you can do all of that stuff in it uh, now list if you just change the value the the bracket type in list like so okay it becomes a tuple now what is the difference between a tuple and a list well the difference is very simple the tuple is non manipulatable or if it's called it's Im it's not uh, mutable it's immutable that's the word we use it sorry so it's immutable so if I say if I make the tuple as uh, if I make this name as a tuple I just need to change the type of the bracket here now why do we need a tuple versus a list now the reason is because you might have some areas where you do want to change the data once it has been put there so for example name and password so let's say I've got a name and a password of a user and I do not want to change that uh, so somebody should not be able to manipulate my program get into the program and say you know what I'm gonna change the first value of that by you know by using the pop function so you can do that in list but you cannot do that in a tuple so this is where tuple becomes useful because you are not allowed to change the data within it uh, within this particular list okay now if you run the same function nothing happens everything remains the same okay but I cannot remove anything from here so I can't use a function and say let's remove you know let's say pop and I can't do that there well I can do one more thing I can create a copy of the same list and I can manipulate that list if I want to okay uh, but I can't then uh, it has to be a different list primarily <coughs> so um, 
so that's tuple for you tuples are basically uh, you know stuff where you have the same data but you can't manipulate list is an area where you can manipulate the data and why do you need tuple you need tuple for some immutable function immutable data like name and password and uh, list is used for everything else now after this we're going to learn another uh, data type which is called um, um, dictionary and dictionary is pretty simple uh, a compared to name and uh, tuple it's it's exactly similar to them but the only difference being the fact that it has it has two values so it ha it would have a name and it would have a, it would have a, it would have a, a key to it okay so it's a key value pair so i can uh, add a name and then i can say you know let's say my name here so what a uh, dictionary does is that it will type both the values together now this is really useful in username and password and uh, as you can see it's, it's sort of typed uh, and this is a dictionary where I've used a, uh, a tuple here but I can also call it like this so okay so I can use a dictionary as a list or a tuple sorry so this is a key value pair here and uh, this is how dictionary is used uh, pretty useful in terms of creating values uh, so as you can see that and I think I made a small error here the tuple is always represented in brackets my bad here <coughs> Tuple is always represented in, uh, in in a bracket. So this is the way it is. This is how a list will come, and this is how a tuple will come, and this is how a dictionary will come. So three ways of representing the same data. And uh, here you have mutability. Here it is immutability, and here it is key value pairs. So this is what you need to really remember when you're playing along with the data types so we'll learn more about dictionary in the next video and uh, have a great time and uh, try playing around with python there is no right or right wrong answers in it uh, you know sometimes you'll struggle and um, you might not be able to get the answers immediately but that's fine uh, that's how we all learn so keep learning have a good time and enjoy yourself and uh, happy learning bye bye